Wob Wob, this is my intro, Wob Wob. Welcome back Guardians, in this video I wanted to talk about my favourite shaders for the Warlock. I'm going to be doing this for Titan and Hunter 2, so make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy this type of video. Let's try and get this video to 15 likes, maybe 17. And the blacksmith shader in the background is going to be a special mention on all three characters, so let's get into it. My fifth favourite is the infamous God of War All Red Shader, one of my favourites throughout the history of Destiny. I have just used it so much that I am bored of looking at it, but it still rates up there in my top five. Definitely a beast ass shader. You get this shader from multiple different ways through crypt art packages, strikes, etc. etc. It comes randomly and it's extremely, extremely rare to find. It was actually one of the hardest things to get for a lot of people. But I love this shader, it's awesome. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. My fourth favorite is definitely the newest shader to most people, the Prayer of Nepal. This was achieved and received by donating towards the bungee aid for Nepal when they got hit with that terrible earthquake. And you got a t-shirt, a shader and an emblem. The shader is actually pretty cool. It's all, all mainly red. So it's kind of a lot like God of War, which I really love because I love the color red. It's my favorite color. But also you get this nice hint of blue on the underclothes. So, you know, it does it just makes it stand out and makes it pop. And then you get like the white highlights and it, it just looks like an all round B shader. And it's new to look at and it's very vibrant. So it's a very cool shader. My third favourite is definitely the Queen's Web Shader. You get this shader by beating Skolas on level 35 in the Prison of Elders. You get this shader, an emblem and a ship. And this shader was actually not liked by a lot of people. But when I put it on my Warlock, I seen something in it that I absolutely loved. It's like this purpley light purple with a hint of blue mixture across your character but it also is very shiny and very gleaming and for a warlock on the warlock coat it actually makes it look very unique there's not many shaders which actually look like this and then with the nice glowing white outlines it just sets it off nicely and i love it my second favorite is definitely gold spiral you get this from iron banner once you rank up the ranks you can actually purchase it from the lord saladin dude for a certain amount of glimmer and on a warlock in my opinion it looks amazing there's nothing better than a gold shader to have on your character now i never got access to aru's passage but i feel like that's more of a cheap kind of looking gold and this gold just looks very nice on the warlock it looks very shiny and i just love queuing up for iron banner wearing the shader running around and trying to kill people while wearing the iron banner colors and last but certainly not least, my favourite shader of all time for a Warlock has to be Revenant. So Revenant is a Dead Orbit shader, so you have to rank up Dead Orbit through the and get the packages. And through those packages you have a chance of getting one of four shaders. One of them is Revenant. It's hard to get, but it's definitely worth it. With the black look to the actual character all over, with the orange outlines, and then with the camouflage pattern on the black, I just love this shader through and through. It's definitely my favorite. Let me know about shaders you like on your Warlock, guys, in the comments section below. Don't worry, Titans and Hunters. Both videos will be up tomorrow with the shaders that I feel are best for those characters. But everybody, if you wish to hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel immensely. And you guys are awesome. So yeah, hit that like button if you wish to. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. And I would like